Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about alias tags. We're going to be using our bit instruction program from our last video. And we're going to be using one of our industrial control PLC trainers that has the PowerFlex drive and the Compact Logics PLC. And it is still wired for our getting started guide. Now throughout that video, I was saying local colon one dot I dot data that long out drug out address for it. Now one, that is important important that you do understand what that address is. It's not always necessarily the quickest way to program or the easiest way to remember what you have. So we're going to take that program. Let's go ahead and go back offline. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out the local colon one dot I dot data dot zero. And instead, let's just type green button. Now, if you mouse over it right now, it's going to say undefined tag. So we're going to right click it and we're going to create a new green button. And for our type, it is going to be an alias and it's going to be an alias for you hit the drop down. We can navigate to local colon one colon I dot data and we're going to select zero. And we'll go ahead and create it. And now, not only does it say the green button, which is the tag we made, it also gives us that base tags description, which we had as button one, which you can still see here. And it tells us where the actual address is. Now here's the advantage of it is now let's go down to the second row and let's take this one out. So our description of this one was button one. If we type button one, nothing's coming up. But if we type green, green button starts coming up. That's a quick way to address the green button without having to remember the long local tag addressing. So we could do the same thing for light one. We can make it the green light. Then we'll right click it, create a new tag for the green light. And under this type, instead of it being a base tag, we'll select an alias and we're going to select local output data zero. Okay, let's download this program. And if you need any help configuring your communications or downloading your program, I'll put a link to the whole playlist down in the description of this video. That uh, goes through how to download Studio 5000 how to install it, how to create your first program, serial communications, ethernet communications, and so forth. All right, let's go to our controller tags. Now this is the same program. Let's make sure we know that first. We press the green button, green light comes on. We let off the green button, yellow light comes on. Now let's go over here to our controller tags, which now in addition to those local variables that we had, we now also have this green button and this green light. Okay, mainly what I want you to see is that when we press the green button, we get an indication of the green button alias and the actual input. And also same with the green light. The green light alias turned to a one about the same time as we saw it down here. And we're gonna go through the actual scan and when all of this is done in a later video. But for now, let's just consider that they came on at exactly the same time. So aliases are a great way to simplify these addresses that you know we really wouldn't remember otherwise. Now, I, this isn't an excuse for not understanding this local colon one colon I colon data type addressing, but I think especially, well, let's say you had a hundred inputs or a thousand inputs on a big machine, it's gonna be really difficult for you to remember exactly each one of those, but you probably can remember the green button on station 12. So it's a great way to make your addressing something that is easy to remember. Coming up, we're gonna hit timers, some counters, then we're gonna jump back into some bit instructions, talk about different ways to program motors, latches, unlatches, one shots. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Till next time. Hey, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon.
Till next time. See ya.